Hello and welcome. Today is 2nd December 2020 and this is daily math video for class 9. Today we are going to see how to find irrational numbers between any two given rational numbers. Let's get started. Let's quickly review what is an irrational number. So here we have a number line. We know a number line extends infinitely in both directions. If this is 0, on the, right of, on the right side of 0, we have the positive integers, positive numbers, <clears throat> extending all the way to plus infinity. On the left side of 0, we have all the negative numbers, negative integers, going all the way to minus infinity. We know that there are infinite numbers on a number line, <clears throat> and we know that a rational number is written in the form of p by q, where both p and q are integers, and q cannot be equal to 0. Because if we have a situation where there is a numerator, denominator is 0, this is undefined. So this cannot be true. We have also learned that all of the integers can be, they are rational numbers. Why? Because let's take integer, for example, integer 2. We can write 2 as 2 divided by 1, which actually exactly matches the definition of a rational number because 2 is an integer, 1 is an integer. So similarly, if we were to take a negative integer minus 4, we know that minus 4 can be written as just the same as plus 2, it can be written as minus 4 by 1, where again, both minus 4 and 1, they are integers. So all of the integers are rational numbers. And we know obviously 2 by 3, 5 by 8, these are all rational numbers. So the question is then what are irrational numbers? Irrational numbers are numbers such as square root 2, square root 3, square root 5, square root 7, so on and so forth. All these numbers, they are irrational numbers. And we have learned there are infinitely many irrational numbers. We also know the collection of all rational numbers plus all irrational numbers is known as real numbers. Now, let's find out how to find irrational numbers between given rational numbers. So, there is one very unique feature about irrational numbers. We are going to use that. So, what is it? So, all of the irrational numbers, so if it is square root 2, square root 3, square root 7, all these irrational numbers, they have one very unique common feature, which is this. Their decimal expansion, meaning when you represent this irrational number in a decimal form, that decimal expansion number one it it does not terminate it does not terminate meaning the it keeps going and the second thing is it does not repeat so the decimal expansion of an irrational number it has these unique features, that is, it does not terminate and it doesn't repeat. Now, let's say we, have, we are asked to find some irrational numbers between the number 2 and 3. So let's say the question is find 5 irrational numbers between these two rational numbers. So, we can use these features to write the numbers. So, we can think of 2 as 2.0. And we, we can think of 3 as 3.0. So the first irrational number we are going to write is, let's say 2.107. If we leave it like this, this is clearly a rational number. Because this number is 2107 divided by 1000. That's a rational number. However, if we write this as, I am thinking aloud as we are going in this video. So what we can do is we can write this as 1, 0, 0, 7. Meaning if you look at this unit, here I added one extra 0. So third unit can be 1, 0, 0, 0, 7. And now so on and so forth. So does this decimal expansion, does it match these two criteria? So this does, does it terminate? It will never terminate. So it checks off the first criteria. Does it repeat? It actually does not repeat because repetition would have been 107, 107, 107, so on and so forth. 
But here we have 107. With every iteration, we are adding an extra zero. So there is one zero here. There are two zeros here. There are three zeros here. So not only it does not terminate, it will also not repeat. So this is our first irrational number between two and three. Clearly, then the, for the second, we can write this as, we can just change these numbers, right? So we can say it is maybe 203. 2003. 2003. I'm just showing you how we can approach these questions. So then we can say maybe, you know, two point, let's say 207, 2007, 2007, and so on and so forth. This is a third number. So we have one, two, three. Let's write two more. Maybe two point, two point, say five zero uh maybe five zero one why not five zero one five zero zero one five zero 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 one so on and so forth and for the last number let's write it as two point maybe six zero say nine and six zero zero nine six zero 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 nine and so on and so forth so these are our five irrational numbers between the number two and three now let's say our question is, let's clear this up. Our question is now, find irrational numbers between, let's say, the, num the rational number 2 by 3 and the number 2. So here, how are we going to find? And the question is, let's say, find three irrational numbers between these two numbers. So we need to find three irrational numbers. So first, what we are going to do, we are going to convert this in a decimal form. So when we actually do this division, we will get this as 0 0.666 like that. And we can write 2 as 2.0. So essentially what we can do is, if you simply think of it this way, so if we were to imagine this as a number line, right? So, so this will be 0 0.666 and this will be the number 2.0. So the number 1 will lie somewhere over here right so we can simply find out some irrational numbers between 1 and 2 which will satisfy irrational numbers between these two so we can write something like one point like the way we did before maybe 1.217 2117 21117 so on and so forth this could be our first irrational number second irrational number because remember we are trying to find three rational numbers between one and two now so we can write it as one point maybe three zero five three zero zero five three zero 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 five so on and so forth and finally the third one will be one point let's say maybe seven two nine seven two two nine seven two 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 nine and so on and so forth and finally what if if both the rational numbers are given in uh, in uh, fraction form? Meaning, if you were to ask, find two irrational numbers between two by three, and let's say maybe, um, let's say, uh, how about we write this as maybe eleven by two? So we have to find, let's say, four irrational numbers between these two. So we know both of them are rational numbers. So in the first example, we had both rational numbers as whole numbers. Then we looked at one in fraction form, the other one was a whole number, and here we have both in fraction form. So we are going to do the exact same thing. We are going to convert each of the fraction form into decimal. So this will be 0 0.666. It will go on. And when we divide 11 by 2, we will get 5.5. So simply what we will do is we will try to find four rational numbers between the number one and number five. So if you find four rational numbers here, these numbers will clearly be inside two by three and 11 by two. Meaning in our number line, one and five if they are here, so this will be two by three, somewhere over here. And our 11 over two will be somewhere over here. This is just a conceptual representation, meaning clearly between one and five, we will, well, I think it will be more close to over here. The 5 will be more over here. So if you find 
four irrational numbers between one and five, it will satisfy our criteria. So we can quickly write them as maybe 1.203, 2003, 2003, so on and so forth. Then the second number can be two point because we have we have a, a big range between one and five. So we can write the second number as two point something, third can be three point something, and the last can be four point something. So maybe this is 07, 007, then there are three zero seven, so on and so forth. And we can write this as maybe 29, 229, and the last one we can write this as maybe 1, uh, let's say 1, 3, 1, 1, 3, 1, 1, 1, 3, so on and so forth. We can, uh, we can get as creative as we want when we have to write these, but again, remember, the only criteria here is we need to create such a pattern that clearly shows that the number is going to continue on forever it will not terminate the pattern clearly shows it is not going to terminate and then also that it doesn't repeat so this is how we solve these types of problems